Hello everyone. Well done to everybody who has tried some of the activities on the themightymaestro.com. There have been some excellent scores coming through and it's also great to see some of you trying them again and again, improving each time. Today we're going to go through the first section of Note the Value together and then we'll start to have a look at some parts further on. So, note names. This is the first one that a lot of you have tried and we'll go through them and try and get them all correct. Let's get started. In music, some notes are played quickly and some notes are played slowly. Click on the buttons to hear some different notes. Now I know we went through a bit of this last time, but we're going to go through the full section this time. So you can see on the left hand side we start very, very fast. Still quite fast, but a bit slower. I'm sure you can see the pattern now, getting slower with each note. Now each of these different speeds of notes has a different name. So look at the pictures of the notes. Uh, move your mouse over or tap the orange boxes to see the note names. So what was that really fast one? that we started with. I know it had a coloured in head at the bottom and it had a staff and two tails. It's going to be this one. So there's a coloured in head, a staff and two tails. That was the really fast one. That's a semiquaver. Okay. Now if we take off one of those tails, which one can we see? It's this one. We just take away semi. So this is one quaver. This is a semi-quaver. Now this one looks much the same. This one has a coloured in head, a, a staff, and two tails. Coloured in head, staff, one tail. Coloured in head and just a staff. It's a crotchet, okay? There is a sort of guide to this. Now you should have gone through these a couple of times. Try to remember the names. Okay, now let's see if we've got them. Jumble up. Okay. Now, which one was the one I said that was the fastest? I said it had a coloured in head like this, it had a staff like this. How many tails did it have? I think it was the semi quaver and the one without one of those tails was just a normal quaver and then we go again to the crotchet now some of the other ones we didn't talk about we can see the semi quaver has two tails here now, it may look a bit different but there is still a note or a group of notes that has two tails if you can spot it it's this one because if you covered up this it would still look like this semiquaver with a head, a staff, and two tails. Now, when we draw them together, there's two in a row, we just join up their tails together instead of having two separately, okay? Now, the same with the quaver, a head, a staff, and one tail, two quavers, we join that tail together. Now, a minim, it looks a lot like a crotchet, but it's blank on its head. And the semi breathe is just a big, plain note. Check our answers. Seven hits, zero misses. Lovely. Next task. Let's have a look at the next one. The values. So click on the buttons to learn about the different notes as they are generally played in beginner music. So show semiquavers. We've talked about them before, haven't we? So this is interesting. When we draw our notes, I'm sure the website will teach us later. There's a specific rule to whether we draw the, the staff on them up or down. And I'm sure we'll get to that. So here's the important part. 
quarter beat. So a semiquaver is a quarter beat. Now, all of our notes will be given to us as a value like this. So if we just go to crotchets, let's have a look. We've got all the different ways that it's drawn. And then it will show us what it's worth, one beat. So in music, it doesn't matter how fast or slow you're playing the music, it will have a beat, okay? Now, if I did a steady clapping rhythm, with just four, four, so that just means there's four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Each of those claps is a crotchet. And you notice I say the numbers as I hit my hands. That is a crotchet beat. One, two, three, four. Now, if I click on quavers, again, we're going to remember how to draw them. And you can be doing this with a piece of paper as you're, as you're going through this, practicing drawing the notes is really important. It really helps. It says half a beat. So if I have four beats in a bar, four crotchet beats, think about our equivalencies. How many quavers could I have? If I had four crotchet beats, so four holes, how many halves can I have in that one bar? So one, two, three, four, that's crotchets. If quavers are half, how many will I have? I'll give you five seconds to try and think about that. You can pause me if you'd like. Okay. If I have four crotchet beats, I'm going to have eight quaver beats. Because there are two halves and a hole. If I have four holes, I'm going to have eight quavers. Now, I know this might seem confusing. It's exactly like learning a new language, okay? So, what about semiquavers? If we know there are two quavers in one crotchet, how many semiquavers are going to be in one crotchet? Look at the values. One quarter, one half, one. So in one crotchet, there are two quavers. And in one crotchet, there are four semiquavers. Can you see how it's all starting to fit together? Okay, and our skills that we've learned in maths really help to explain music for us, okay? Now, minims. Let's have a look how to draw them. And let's have a look at the value. Two beats. So, we cannot fit a minim into a crotchet. How many crotchets can we fit into a minim? Two. Two crotchets fit into a minim. How many quavers will fit into a minim. So how many halves go into two, into two holes? Four. Four quavers into one minim. How about semiquavers, the harder one? How many quarters go into two holes? So remember how many quarters went into one hole? That was four. I'm going to double it. Eight semiquavers go into a minim and a semi breathe. How many do you think this is worth? Four beats. So how many crotchets is that? Four. How many minims is that? Two. How many quavers? How many halves go into four? Eight. And how many semi quavers? go into a semi brief how many quarters go into four 16 okay let's go on to the next task can you remember what when I did my clapping rhythm which one was on the beat one two three four oh it just showed us then that's nice and easy so one beat Crotchet. Okay. What do we say half a beat was? There were two watts in a crotchet. Quaver. Half a beat equals a quaver, not the crisp. <laughs> now, 
two beats. So double a crotchet. What was that? It looks a lot like a crotchet. Two beats is a minim. That's double a crotchet. What about four beats? The big one. That's a semi breathe. And the last one left, obviously, a quarter beat is going to be semi quaver. Now, what did they look like? Let's start off with crotchet. I'll crotchet here. This one. So it has a colored in head and one staff okay looks like a golf club now a quaver looks much like it but it has a tail on the end i'll give you a couple of seconds to find it where do you think it is so it looks like a crotchet it has a tail on the end here it is this is our quaver what about our semi quaver okay so it looks a lot like a quaver so it has a head goes up and has a tail, but it has an extra tail. Can you find it? It's this one, okay? Now, remember what I said? Sometimes the staffs are drawn on this side going up, sometimes they're drawn on this side going down. Is there anything else that looks like this, but just the opposite? I can see these two look the same. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in semi-quaver, and I'm going to put this one in semi-quaver. And this one looks like a quaver as well, just the opposite way around. Okay, now this one, that's a crotchet, just the other way around. Now minim, what do we say? It looks like a crotchet, but it doesn't have a coloured in head. I'm going to go, so I know it's not these, or these, or these, or these, or these. Could be this one, this one, or this one. I know a minim is this. Okay, and like I say, as we're going through this, it really helps for you to draw them out, okay? This one, we know the big one is the semi breathe worth four beats. Now, we're going back to this thing. When we draw a couple together, we can join the tails. So it might look a bit different, but all we have to do is pretend we don't see this one and look at what it has. So a covered in head, a staff, and how many tails? Just one. So it's trying to trick us, but it's just a quaver. And the same here. That's just a quaver. Now this one looks different because there's four. But again, if we just cover these up, just look at this first one. Covered in head, staff going up, one tail. That's still a quaver. And if we do the same process with these ones, coloured in head, staff going up, how many tails? Two. Okay, semi quaver. And these, four of them put together, two tails, semi quaver. Oh, complete hits. Fantastic. Okay, those are the first two parts, guys. If you found trouble with any of those when you first tried them, go back again. Do it along with this video. Draw them out as you're doing them on a scrap piece of paper. It really helps. And just keep, keep going. Now, let's go back to the menu. And let's have a look. So, note the value with that we have eight parts. We've just gone through the first two, okay? Try and get as many of these done as possible. I'd really like us to try and do 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 and 1.4. If you can get further than that, that's fine. But try and get to here for next Monday, okay? Now, I'll put up a video um, in a couple of days of the next couple, giving you some help. But until then, Give it a really good go, guys. I know you can do it. And I have a really fun time at home. Okay. Bye, everybody.